Saturday, December 4th, the Mustangs wake up early in Orlando, Florida. On the line is their first conference championship in decades. The players and coaches certainly understand the importance of today's game. Months of practice, meetings, training, hard work, pain, jubilation, and drama have led to this pivotal moment for the SMU program. The season comes down to this. You know, the kids are excited to be here, and you know, like I said, this is a once-in-a-lifetime you know, opportunity for a lot of them. We've only had 10 guys that have been on a, a championship team, uh, you know, in their in their careers as playing football. So. Players have a brotherhood. You go in the locker room, you can you can feel it. Players love going to watch tape with the coaches during the week. They love being at the facility, at the practice field. They love taking road trips with, with their team at the hotel. They just love it. And then at a certain point, if you love what you're doing, you're going to succeed. SMU President Dr. Gerald Turner and SMU Board of Trustee member and stadium namesake Gerald J. Ford arrive early to the stadium, brimming with school spirit. Booster Paul Lloyd was also on the field before the game, ready to witness the most important SMU football game in years. June Jones brings that mentality. It, you know, he's the kind of guy who can make it happen, and he has. You know, we tied for the West Conference Championship last year, didn't get in the championship game. This year we have, and you know, I think it's all looking up from here, and Jones gets a lot of that credit. Such a thin line between being an average team and being good. It's that extra work. I love it. I love it that the university has galvanized their efforts to getting to this point. Meanwhile, the players prepare, counting down the minutes until the biggest matchup of their Mustang careers. Finally, game time is here. SMU set to kick off to start off the Conference USA Championship game. UCF gets the ball first. The Mustang defense could force the Knights into four third downs, but defensive standout Yuri Yenga suffers a groin pull on the ninth play of the game. SMU locker room. And not good news to see one of your starters leaving. Star UCF quarterback Jeff Godfrey eventually leads his team into the end zone. At the three, lunges towards the goal line. He hits the pylon with the ball. Touchdown, Central Florida. The 13-play, seven-and-a-half-minute drive was the night's sixth opening touchdown drive in its last eight games. The Mustangs come out firing on the first play of their opening possession. Has a little pressure for the backside. Finds underneath Darius Johnson at the 40. In the middle of the field to the 50 to the 42-yard line, the 41. But three straight incompletions halt the drive. UCF comes back on offense with a balanced attack, leading them to a third and 11 at the SMU 45. Mustangs are going to bring five on a blitz. Godfrey pressure. Taylor Reed with a sack back to the UCF 45 yard line. The timely sack is Taylor Reed's first of the year. Next, Zach Line shows why he is the conference's leading rusher. Big hole to the 45. Cuts left at the 50. But the drive stalls at the UCF 30, and the field goal unit comes on. Kick is going to be short. No good. It is short, and with 11-12 to play in the second quarter, it rains 7-0. Central Florida leads SMU. Defense is a key for the Mustangs today, as the high-powered UCF offense averages over 35 points a game. The Ponies step up on UCF's next drive. SMU with four men up to the line of scrimmage, and they'll bring a blitz, and they're going to sack it. They're going to rather tackle it for a loss, and it's Justin. Now it's quarterback Kyle Padron's chance to uncork the offense. Slides that way, a little bit of pressure. He'll dump it off. Caught Cole Beasley, 20, 25, breaks a tackle to the 30. Slips to the right to the 34-yard line, and that'll be a first down on a pickup of 19. A Padron across left side. This one is caught by Darius Johnson at the 45. SMU keeps the ball for nearly seven minutes, but again, the drive stalls, and they're forced to punt. With UCF driving in the final minute, 
An injury to standout CB Sterling Moore stuns the SMU sidelines. Line. Sterling Moore had fallen down and he's holding his left knee and it looks like Sterling Moore's knee's gone out on him again. He's holding that left knee. Still, the D hangs tough. First and goal at the three. Fields a low snap again. Rolls to his right. Marcus Hunt's there. He pops outside further to his right to the 10. And Taylor Thompson's going to rip him down from behind. Make it Marquise Frazier at the three-yard line. The Knights manage only a field goal as the teams exit the field for halftime. It's a surprisingly low score, the lowest in CUSA championship history. Let's go! Trailing 10 to nothing at halftime, the SMU Mustangs have some work to do. In the locker room, Coach Jones down praises down. the defense. The but we'll hit them this half, and that, that field goal right there that we held them to is going to win the game for us, guys. However, it is the first time this season the offense has been shut out in the first half. Guys, get your oh, line, man. fellas. Really, really All right, guys, we got 30 minutes. 30 minutes, lay it all on the line. Knock the ball out, get some takeaways. Offense, don't beat ourselves. Just execute. They haven't stopped us yet, okay? Take the football down. Let's put this thing back. Put the pressure on them. Let's go out of here with the conference yeah. championship. And break on hey, Banjo. listen up. When you say it, it's believe it. We done worked too hard on summer for this. Let's go. Hey, mean this with your soul. Conference champs, all three. Let's go. One, two, three. Go, go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In the third quarter, the Knights draw first blood. Handoff is to Latavius Murray, the eye back, big hold to the 30, to the 25-20. Benny Thomas won't catch it with the 10. The score puts UCF up 17 to nothing and leaves the Mustangs in dire need of a point-producing drive. Coach Jones and Kyle Padrone engineer a drive featuring a critical fourth and six completion. Blitz look, here they come. Zach line picks it up, throw right side, caught Keenan Holman at the 28, out of bounds. At the but on the very next play. Padron, heavy pressure coming on a blitz. He throws left side, and Aldrick Robinson can't pick it up because it's picked off in front of him. Josh Robinson, what a terrific interception. The interception brings the third quarter to a close. You can't get it. You can't get frustrated. You've got to keep going after them, all right? Keep getting open. The defense must step up once again. And once again, Taylor Reed gets into the backfield. Will rush just three. Marcus Hunt has big pressure. Forces Godfrey out to the left. He's on the run. He stops and he's going to be tackled. Taylor Reed down low. With 13 minutes left and the championship on the line, Kyle Padron comes out swinging. Underneath. It's caught Johnson 15 going left sideline 20. Padron under some pressure throws right side. Cole Beasley catch at the 35. Nice move to the 40 as he turns it up inside the numbers to the 42. With 9-19 left in the game, the Ponies finally put points on the board. They'll bring six. Padron throws left side. Back shoulder. Caught! Yes. Aldrick Robinson at the five. Strolls in. Touchdown, SMU. you got to credit the offensive line with that. The SMU defense is called upon again and again denies the UCF offense. Receiver Mosin's in towards the line, and they want to throw, and Justin Smart has pressure, and Justin Smart has a sack back to the 39-yard line. There's that stop that Jeff Reinbold was looking for. Three plays later, the Ponies are driving strong again. Padron catches a snap wide left, has it, throws it deep down the left side, and Darius Johnson has it picked off. Stepping in front of him, Reggie Wings at the 45 of UCF. He's heading up the middle of the field to the 40 of SMU to the 35, and he'll be tackled at the SMU 28. The interception, Padron's second on the day, puts the Mustangs in a deep hole. But as they've done all day, the SMU defense keeps the ponies in the game. Five and pressure and a huge sack. Marquise Frazier crunches. With three minutes and 36 seconds left in the game, SMU reaches deep to save their season. 
The drive gets off to a rocky start, but the Mustangs persevere. Looking right, throwing that way, Darius Johnson, what a grab through traffic at the 47 of UCF. With their backs against the wall, the Mustangs refuse to give up. Crazy. And it's a delay handoff. Zach Line going right. Big hold of the 45 to the 40. Breaks a tackle and he has a first down to the UCF 37 yard line. The ponies stare down a second game ending fourth and long. Fourth down and seven. Padron looking left. Throwing that way. On an out route. Robinson at the 25 out of bounds. Having executed two fourth down conversions to keep hope alive, the SMU offense found themselves in a familiar situation yet again. Has a snap. Pressure from the front side. Spins away from it. He rolls oh, right. He falls down. Kyle down at the 33-yard line. And the Knights about to punch their ticket to the Liberty Bowl with their school record tying 10th win of the year. They went 7-1 and one in league play. And, uh, we weren't efficient enough today. They're a great team. And, uh, they didn't make very many mistakes, and we didn't capitalize on them. The fact that you know, we were in that game all the way to the last second to still be in it uh, down to the last minute and shows where this program is and where it's going to continue to go. With the loss, SMU's bid for the Conference USA Championship came to an end. This is where we wanted to be and we didn't, we didn't take care of business here, but you know, we, we played our tails off and we got something to build on for next year. Anyone who saw the game witnessed a team who played their hearts out and left it all on the field. And even though they came up short, the Mustangs showed their resiliency and character. On Tuesday, December 7th, five Mustangs were honored as they were named first team All-Conference USA. Offensive lineman, Kelvin Beecham. Linebacker, Jagera Davis. Running back, Zach Lye. Wideout, Aldrich Robinson and defensive tackle Taylor Thompson represent SMU on the team. The three-year turnaround for SMU has been nothing short of remarkable. In that short time, June Jones has turned the program into a perennial bowl contender. And with only four starters set to graduate, the future looks bright for the Mustangs. We took our next step in this program and we still have a young, young team, and it'll be exciting to see what they do next year.